Addison's disease typically and the options are causes hypertension, causes hypopigmentation, is an autoimmune disease and steroids are contraindicated. Now talking of Addison's disease, first let's talk about adrenal insufficiency. So this is a disease of the adrenal gland. Adrenal insufficiency. Okay. Now this can be either primary or secondary. Primary meaning it is by low levels of cortisol and high levels of ACTH, adrenocorticotrophic hormone, or by disruption of ACTH secretion by the anterior pituitary. Correct. So here both cortisol and ACTH are reduced. Cortisol is also reduced and ACTH is also reduced. Now talking of the primary form, this is known as Addison's disease. That is primary adrenal insufficiency. Now this results from the destruction of adrenal cortex because of autoimmune reaction or a chronic severe infection like tuberculosis or tumor which leads to reduction in glucocorticoid and mineralocorticoid hormones okay then the symptoms of addison's disease are mainly nausea vomiting Nausea and vomiting is always a problem with hormonal conditions, okay? Muscle weakness, loss of appetite, low BP, BP and weight loss. Now more important the skin and the mucosal changes there is bronzing or hyperpigmentation of skin known as bronzing bronze color of skin and it is uh, most visible on scars skin folds pressure points uh, such as elbow knee knuckles toes etc etc okay then oral mucosa is also pigmented, diffuse pigmentation of gingiva, tongue, heart palate and buccal mucosa. Now pigmentation is caused because of the increased levels of ACTH. This is the one that is responsible for increased pigmentation and in response to low levels of corticosteroids. Then uh, laboratory testing will also show low concentration of sodium and glucose, increased serum potassium and decreased urinary output of certain steroids. So these are a few things to remember from adrenal uh, insufficiency with Addison's disease. Now coming to the options, causes hypertension, no, it causes reduction in blood pressure, causes hypopigmentation, no, it causes increase in pigmentation, is an autoimmune disease, yes. And steroids are contraindicated, not true because it is an autoimmune condition. So the correct answer is option 3.